First of all, I'm going to cook the clams. And it might sound a bit back to front, but I need the juice of the clams to become the essence of the chowder. That's the base, that's the stock, that's the thing that, that makes it something really, really beautiful. First fry diced onions in butter with salt and pepper and a bay leaf before adding some clams along with a good glug of white wine. There we go. And after a couple of minutes, the clams are ready. Look how beautiful they are. All purple, lovely bits of meat inside. So they come out and a couple of diced potatoes go in to cook with the clam liquor. The great thing about a chowder is that it has everything you need. Potatoes, vegetables, fish. It's got fat, it's got protein, it's got everything you want all in one big pot. And whilst the potatoes cook, remove the clam meat from the shelves. And I'll simply open it up and get myself another clam and just pinch it out and keep that to one side. It might be one of those really repetitive jobs, but uh, someone's got to do it. You can't have clam shells in soup, but I actually find this quite therapeutic. In a separate pot, I've sweated onions, celery and leeks for the base of the chowder. A little bit of salt, not too much, and then a load more ground pepper, and I mean a load of pepper and into that goes a good amount of milk. I'm gonna bring that milk to the boil. And as that milk comes to the boil, what it's going to do, is going to infuse all the vegetables for our stock, but at the same time, we're going to take our smoked fish, and this is smoked local trevally, not a lot of it because it's quite strong, but just a little bit, and we're gonna put that in skin side up. Most smoked fish, like kippers or haddock, work just as well. Whilst that comes up to the boil, prepare the rest of the fish. So I've got some white fish. Now you can use cod, or here I'm using ling, or anything like that, and it would, it's just gotta be lovely white boneless fish. Take the fish itself, make sure there's no bones in it, then you've got these lovely, lovely big pieces. The little bits are all right because they're going to flake into the soup, but some of those bigger chunks you want to have because those bigger bits will give you texture. That means you can stick your teeth in them as you eat the soup. Next, take the smoked fish out. Remove the skin and roughly break it up. Then into the pot go green beans and some tin corn. Now cream corn is simply corn which has been chopped up once it's been cooked. So you cook the corn first, then you chop it up. Now, in this country it's everywhere. And as a kid, we used to do sailing regattas and go around sailing all around the country. And one thing we'd take with us is cream corn, because on a, on a yacht, you'd warm that up on a little stove and a bit of toast, and you got yourself your lunch. Time to bring this whole thing together. So it's in with the potatoes, smoked fish, and finally the white fish. I want it to come back up the boil again, and the fish cook for about two minutes, and then we're going to add the clams, and we're going to be done. Roughly chop some parsley and add the clams, then the whole lot goes into the pot. And we're almost ready to go. To make this extra hearty and easy to eat, I'm serving the chowder in hollowed out bread. Chowder on down. Mm -hmm.